I was, had the misconception that he was buried right here. I thought that stone marked his, his uh, burial ground, but it does not. We're going out there now. We'll get some pictures out there. Right now, leaving this Jimmy Rogers Memorial and Museum, Highland Park, Meridian, Mississippi. Today is October the 17th, and this is Monday. Mar yeah, October I about, the 17th. I about lost my conception of time here. We've been on the road. Well, we found it, drove out here. Uh, this is what, Jackie, from the museum, about five miles, I guess. All at least. This won't stand up. Was it laying down, was it? Yeah. It's broke, I guess. I just lay it back down where it was at. Your gunshots off in the distance. This is his. Yeah, I'll get the main stone and walk around. There's a. I guess all of this area. We'll try to get all the different stones. This is for his daughter. You know, she's still living. Okay, now here's the stones. Now this. Right here, there's the big stone. Now right here is where Jimmy Rogers is buried. That's his stone. What does it say, Jackie? Jimmy James Charles Rogers, September the 8th, 19, 18 and 97, May 26, 1933, America's Blue Yodel. Okay, and then right next to him, I don't is, want to step uh, on the grave there. It's Kelly Cecil Williamson, wife of Jimmy Rogers, August the 8th, 1902. She died November 28, 1961. First Lady of Country Music. And then what does the next stone say? I'll walk around back of the grave here. Well, this is his daughters, Kelly Anita Rogers. Court, January the 3rd, 1921. She's still living. Yeah, okay. okay. What's the next one? And this is her daughter, June Rebecca, daughter of Jimmy and Kerry Rogers, June the 20th, 1923. She died December the 22nd, 1923. Same year as her birth. Okay. And, I don't know, you probably know, if this is her on, this is Nettie Ruth, daughter of M.R. and Gladys Hunt. Is that related? I'm not familiar with them, those names. Uh, but they're in the same thing. It must all be It's all in the same plot here. Huh? What, is, what does the next name say over here? What is the next name says Moss Moose Redding Hunt. Well, the camera's picking it up, I believe, anyway. So. Okay, I, bet I don't want to work on it. Gladys Ruth Hunt. Gladys Ruth. Born 1899. There's no death date, so she's evidently still oh, alive. Really? That make her 89 years old. Okay, this is Dick. Now this is going into McWilliams. Jerry. Okay. This is Dick Edward R. McWilliams. June the 9th, 1980. Nah, June the 9th, 1893. Died March the 26th, 1978. A dear husband and father, a friend to all mankind. Now this is Elsie McWilliams' grave. That's Elsie McWilliams' grave. So yeah. she's a, to myself and John, too, is almost equally as important as Jimmy Rogers, I guess. Elsie W. McWilliams, born June the 1st, 1896. She oh. died December the 30th, 1985. Don't seem like she's been dead that long, does it? This is 88, okay. man. Almost three years. I'm not familiar with this, but you and John might be. Samuel Marion III, son of S.M. and Juanita H. Houston. Okay. They left no space for, uh, for death. Maybe for the who? baby died 
at birth. I don't know. She's got one date, March 4th, 1932. Yeah, okay. Okay, well, this, gonna... now this stone probably says McWilliams here, Jerry. Let's see. Did you get that? No. That's on different property, though. Oh, it's facing That's that That's facing way. the other way, okay. so that would be... But there is other stones in this cemetery, Mark McWilliams. We've seen over there as we walked in. Uh, but this would all be Jimmy Rogers' part, where this right is. Yeah. From here down to here. I'm going to back up some so I can get a good shot of it here. Uh, Jackie, stand, Jackie, stand right in front of Jimmy Rogers' grave there. Okay. Now walk this way and stand in front of her grave. This is his wife. Okay, now come on this way and stand in front of Elsie Mac Williams' this grave. This is his daughter, Carrie Anita. She's still living. Okay. This is his daughter that uh, died at the same year, June Rebecca. And this is those hunts. Okay. Huh? Huh? This is Edward R. McWilliams. I assume this is uh, Elsie McWilliams' husband. I don't know. I'd have to check. I assume that. Okay. And this is Elsie McWilliams. Okay, that's Elsie McWilliams' grave. Right, here. right there in the same general plot area with Jimmy Rogers. Well, it would so, be because all together. Okay, now I'm going to get a pan around here so you can get a. It's not really a large cemetery. There's the access road. And uh, the cemetery is just on this one side of the road here. There's a dog crossing the street. This is an old cemetery. There's a church right there. A few graves well, along here. Road. But the name of this cemetery is what? Benito? Benita. Yeah, Benita. That's our car sitting right over there. We parked on that access road just off of that one. I'm going to pan on around here so you can see it's really not a large cemetery at all. We parked here, wasn't even sure we was in the right place, and just started walking through and spotted the stone. And I was unaware of all of this. I read the Rogers. I don't know why, so I assumed he was buried out there where that monument was. But now that m memorial monument out there that you see so many pictures of in the magazines, out there where the train and the uh, museum are, are located a good five miles from this spot right here. It's uh, probably farther. Like Jackie says, it's probably farther. We had to get on the interstate. I know we drove at least five miles on that to get out here. But it wasn't hard to find. The lady there at the shop, was. she gave us a map of how to get here. Wasn't no, no problem to find at all. This is really, I'm going to have to give Jackie the camera and she can take a picture of me because this is really a thrilling moment in my life to get to be here. Here's the grave of the lady that wrote so many great songs. I've seen her name on recordings back when I was growing up, back when I was uh, 12, 13, 14 years old. Back then I had the old Jimmy Rogers record. My uncles wanted, used to sing Jimmy Rogers records and told me about him and who he was and everything. And uh, I learned the saying, waiting for a train from him. His name was Boots Pack. He's my mother's brother. And I learned a lot of the Jimmy Rogers songs from him before I ever had a Jimmy Rogers recording. I, uh, when I got the, uh, some Lefty Frizzell recordings of uh, Jimmy Rogers songs, and that was my first time to see Elsie McWilliams' name, was on those, and was wondering who she was and everything. Of course, I knew she wrote the songs from that, but I didn't know anything about her, and then later got actual Jimmy Rogers recordings when I started collecting records. And later found out all about her. In other words, to her, to me, she is an important lady, you know. Oh, that was fun. <laughs> I just stumped my toe if anyone wants to know. If there's no more <laughs> recorded after this, you know Jackie just broke the camera. Here's the... Jerry, wait wife. just a second till I get this out of that sun. Okay. This is his wife. Carrie, Carrie Rogers, and this is Jimmy Rogers, American Blue Yoder. Died a long time ago. Died before I was ever born. He even died before I was born. That is a long, a long time. time ago. But he, he's 
one that uh, well, you just can't find words to really express the effect he's had on not only the big time country singers but probably the millions of others around the country like myself that has played in the honky tonks on some small radio stations and stuff. Uh, he's just a big man. Why don't we walk over there and uh, get a copy of those other stones over there that's got McWilliams on it? Because they're probably making some. Well, I don't guess that's necessary though, because Elsie is the only one that could. But I bet you had some of her people over there. But that's not necessary though. We're, we won't do that. Go ahead and pan it around again, get some uh, good shots of this. Is that the people that was down there a while ago? probably looking for this. Yeah, they was down there. Okay, you want to take this? That's what they're looking for, is this here. You want to take this? Yeah. Still running. Let me see if it's still running right. Yeah. Got it off. I'm not going to get more than that. Do you notice the name, Jimmy? Uh, do you notice the names Carrie and Jimmy on the big stone? No, I see now I hadn't really noticed it, no. And I've got the camera pointed in the direction of Jimmy's grave. It's up there on that hill. But we thought the cemetery ended right here. Go down here to this underbrush. Just to turn around the car. And uh, it's a wooded area here. It's and a big drop not. off. It, there's, a, there's an old stone setting right there. Out in the middle of this wood. So I would bet that wooded area probably is other grave right in there. But there's a big ditch there, Jimmy. Yeah. Either a creek or a... Anyway, this is an old cemetery. Of course, yeah. Jimmy's been here over 50 years. But Jackie found... Jackie found one stone there a while ago that was, what was that old 18 age? 18 and 88 is the oldest one I've seen, but there's some older than that, I'm sure. Yeah. Because they died in 18 and 88. Yeah, and there's some even wooden. Right here, stop a minute. Let me get that right there, out, just out the windshield. Well, that's just the... Those, some of those stones, that's markers good. are made out of them, oval top markers are made out of wood. Right, right there. That's wood, made out of wood. And it is hot in yeah. Meridian, Mississippi yeah. at this time of year. I'll come in December next time. So we're going to drive right on up this little access road and make a right turn and drive. You can drive right in front of him this grave up there. We didn't know that when I was going in here. Didn't know where it was at. Uh, but we're going to do that. Just, just another form of getting a perspective of what the cemetery is here, what it looks like. Okay. That's it. Slow down. Now, right, right there. I'll get you past the Yeah, hold it right. Go on past the tree. Hold it right there and let me, uh... Yeah, okay, that's it right there. Okay, you can drive on off now, uh, a little slower. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is really quite an experience here. You know, I asked that woman out there, joking me, but I was serious, if there was any price there, that she... Bribe her into letting us... 
video. Video. She said, no, man. She, we just got in seeing what Jackie's talking about is the complete, right there in the center, the complete video of the singing brakeman. 13 minutes short, made years ago, which includes three songs. That that but, that's the name of the cemetery there, but that's their community yeah. center. But uh, you can go in there and watch it. They play the videotape of it, but they don't have any for sale, and they will not let you copy it. And they guard that. Maybe someday be able to get a copy of that. But she wouldn't do it for no money. But uh, she wouldn't do it. She wouldn't. In other words, they couldn't bribe her into letting me just video it with my camera even. Just absolutely no no. Not even inside <laughs> of the museum. Only yeah, you can know. Yeah. Very interesting day here. Jimmy Rogers Museum and the cemetery. So we're headed on back to the motel now. And today is Monday, October the... 17th. 17th, 1988. Meridian, Mississippi. This is inside the motel. The Days Inn Motel, here where we're standing. Inside the office lobby. Right above y'all. And they've got a picture gallery here. Hold for ATO.